Hi there! We're going to talk today about cleaning your LED flashlights. I assume you're here because you like flashlights and because maybe you think yours are getting dirty. <laughs> not only that, the point is all flashlights do get dirty over time. We're not talking about the outside of it, we're talking about the inside of it. And what you have inside are a lot of uh, threads, a lot of nice threading, which um, allows the caps to come off and on smoothly like this, and also threading within the head region. Some of them. Some of them you can't take the head off, some of them you can. So anyway, what we're going to do is have a look here at your average flashlight, which I know has not been cleaned in a little while. All you need is a Kleenex or a nice uh, dry cloth, and if you rub it around the thread here, chances are you're going to see black. And there it is. It comes off very nicely, but you can see it is there. And they do get uh, that way just from changing batteries and so forth and so on. You know, just general use and mainly taking the cap on and off and changing batteries, which you do, do, which you do quite uh, frequently. So anyway, take a piece of Kleenex or a cloth. Try to rub it as uh, cleanly as you can so you get uh, all the black off. And uh, what they like best is a silicone-based uh, type of uh, type of cleaner. Now uh, you can you can do some research on this, but a lot of flashlights do not like certain kinds of cleaning products, and you're not supposed to use them on them. And uh, it'll often say in the instructions uh, of a light that you buy, it'll often say perhaps, or might give suggestions on how to clean it or what kind of a cleaner to use. But uh, this is Niogel, and it's one of the recommended types of uh, cl uh, cleaners. This is a silicone-based, uh, uh, nice uh, clear liquid. And um, you can look this up, of course. You can buy it in many different places online. And uh, check out the uh, links from lightsandgear.com. I believe they might sell it as well. But uh, all you do is uh, take a little bit of it, and you don't need a lot. This is a pretty good size too, but you don't need a lot of it. Uh, you can either put it on your uh, one of your ample fingers, or just put it on the uh, end of a Q-tip. And let's see, let's get a little bit closer here. As I say, you do not need a lot. It is clear, and it has a nice consistency to it. Can you see that? There we are. Anyway, all you do is uh, take that little bit and then start cleaning around the threads. And just uh, try to give it about an even as, uh, you know, an even bead as possible right around. Doesn't need a whole lot, as I say, because it is rather greasy and it goes on nice and smooth. Just like that. And uh, like even the Q-tip starts to uh, get a little bit dirty. So you can see you're actually getting dirt off of that. Now, you may not even think of it, but inside the cap, you may want to even do the same thing. Because they get dirty as well, obviously. There, you see, I got a lot of dirt off there. So inside the cap is pretty much the same procedure. Get as much of the dirt off as you can. I mean, you could put some alcohol in here as well. You could damp the uh, cloth or tissue with a bit of alcohol. So again, with your nice little bead of Niogel in this particular case, there are other types of uh, gels out there, but uh, this is one of the the uh, recommended brands, if you will. So again, just give that a little clean right around. And again, I'm getting dirt off on my Q-tip, which is the whole purpose of it, is to keep things lubricated. And, I mean, you never know. Sometimes things do happen to flashlights. They'll suddenly go off, perhaps. They might be doing something freaky, and you're not sure why. But, uh, you know, sometimes just uh, one of the troubleshooting uh, methods of getting a flashlight to work, if it hasn't or if it's going funky, is to try to give it a good cleaning and see if that helps. Now, again, uh, as I say, the head, in this case, the head will come off, and you can do the same thing to the head. And uh, this looks to me to be uh, a little bit grungy as well. 
It shows, oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, it has been a while since I've cleaned this one. Technically, you're supposed to clean your flashlight, they say, you know, once or twice a year, about every six months or so. Um, it perhaps has been a while, maybe since I've done this one, or certainly I may have forgotten the head the last time. So look at all that. But uh, you get the you get the uh, the basic idea here. And what you can also do sometimes for the electronics, if your um, if your light, let's see, for this particular, well, not so much in this particular case, but some lights will have the um, electronic head inside. Sometimes it's a good idea like that, or to uh, take a product like a like a deoxit product like this. These are basic cleaners for audio, video, electrical connections, and so forth. But you can take a little a little bit like this. You know, comes in. I need to spray it. This comes in a little tube. You just spray it in there inside the uh, cap, and it uh, just sort of keeps things uh, moist inside the uh, electronics. And uh, so that's uh, another tactic you can take as well or just for general maintenance and uh, sometimes the cap comes off like that but uh, anyway <laughs> you get the basic idea so there you go cleaning a flashlight uh, it can be fun only takes a moment or two and it can certainly preserve the life of your light over time because everything in life does need a little cleaning now and then you can visit lightsandgear.com. The link is below. You'll find out about lots of flashlights, accessories, and where to buy them, and uh, all kinds of cool links. Lightsandgear.com. Give it a whirl. See you next time. Bye-bye.